Hello, my name is Terrence Pop, and I'm here today with another episode of Redonkless.com. And we're talking about turnoffs. Specifically, turnoffs for men, since I'm a dude. A lot of them are universal, because some of them are pretty egregious. If one of these things turns you on, you got a problem. It's a big problem, actually. If you pay attention to panel number two, I missed the H, I have dyslexia. So, f off. Anyway, let us begin. <coughs> number one, DPHSI, which is disproportional head sizeitis. Now, we've all seen them. You know, the olive oil chick with the incredibly large head. I'm sorry, so let me put my care face on. <coughs> I'm done. I, I really don't care. See a, see a magician, work it out. They're really good at the optical illusion thing. David Copperfield would have a problem with that. Your head's just too big. My head is massive. It is what it is. Number two, RHMTM. Runs from mouth too much. Goes hand in hand with the nagging mom voice. We don't care, okay? You should probably just shut your mouth. Keep the slot A closed. Close ball bumper, cake hole, pie hole, king dong eater. Yeah, it's really unattractive. Number three, BO. Now, BO squared, there's two factors. This. There's bodily overgrowth. You know, gravitationally challenged, saddlebagitis, and then you have a BO as in stanky slot C. If you can detect stank south of eight mile, it's over. And I'm sure you ladies don't like the stanky uh, peg D either. Over body stank or under grooming. I'll make a deal with you. You wash yours and I'll wash mine. Number four, overcorrector. They always have to be right. At the time of this taping, I'm 44 years old. And uh, you're gonna correct my grammar in public and stuff here. It's just done. Go right ahead, be that way, but you know, hey, at least he spells well. Number five, chimney stackitis or over smoker. I can't stand it. Pack, two packs, three packs a day. Just pack it in because uh, oh, well, that's just nasty. Over opinionated, you know, the over liberal, the over conservative, or the feminazi. I, I have no use for any of those three. Let me give you an example. Say for instance, your house is on fire. Who do you want to see show up to put the fire out and pull a loved one out? Two 200 pound dudes or two 120 pound chicks? The over opinion, they'd be like, well, the chicks are just as good as, listen, life and limbs on the line here. There you go. Anything you can do, we can do better. Eh, maybe, maybe not. I'd like to see it be a penis model. That's not gonna work. Seven, overspender. I had a woman spend all my money, but I'm divorced now. Winning. NC or CC, which is a non-cooker or a crappy cooker. Okay, I think we talked about this in some other past videos, and I'm not talking about like, stuff you heat up in a microwave. I can cook, I, you know, I make a mean bunch of toast. And I might even butter it for you. If you cannot cook, big turn off for dudes. We like to eat, and that's just how it is. Yeah! Gravitationally challenged. If you meet yourself, walking into a place you've been caught in a time loop because she is so heavy she's dilating time i don't want to get sucked into your slot b all because you can't control your habit of quarter pounders of cheese big turn off you know what they call a quarter pound of cheese in paris run a few drink some water go on a diet a royale with cheese it's one third digested already by the time you get it you ever go in there it smells like poop <laughs> God damn, this is a bad one here. Yeah! Looking glass challenged. What do you say when you walk up to a woman and she's like a three or four? I mean, your buddies try to pawn her off on you, like, oh, she's nice. Y you know, she's picked the meat off the bone ugly. That's a turn off. I'm, I'm sorry, I just had to say it. I know your buddies will say, hey, take one for the team. But not when, it, not when it's an execution, man. Lot. Now, I'm not talking about Salem's lot. I mean, that's a whole other turn off in itself. But lot, which is lack of trust. <laughs> Turn offs for men, take two. Number 11, lot. And I'm not talking about Salem's lot. I'm not talking about parking lot either. And I'm most definitely not talking about Sir Mix a lot. Though, I do like big butts. And you know what they say about people who like big butts? They cannot lie. Face it, if she has a history of untrustworthy behavior, she did it to them, she'll do it to you. Number 12. Now, this is one of uh, my favorites, and I know lots of women who are guilty of this. HCC, which is a habitual car crasher. Sorry, I haven't greased the wheels yet. They don't have to be totaled. There just needs to be three crashes, 
in 18 months. Big headache. Dude at my word. This woman started the car and totaled two at once. Just starting the car. I myself like dogs. If she's a non-dog liker, she's not gonna work for you, man. Where are my bitches at? Cats are okay once in a while. But they piss on everything. Oh, I'll be late. 14, overcatting. Now I define overcatting as more than one cat per individual in the household. You know the overcatters. You know, you're, you're making out with them on their bed and you have to stop and cough up a hairball. It smells like cat pee, there's cat boxes, filth. It's, it's just nasty. There's urine, urine. Urine. And shit on the box on the floor. This is a good one here. Now I'm a dude, I'm a pile guy. You know, I store things in piles. I know where everything is, but I'm not unsanitary. If you are unsanitary, which is a direct contributor to BO, you could wind up on hoarders. And that's a crazy point. You're fired. This is gonna get me in trouble here, hang on. Intellectually bankrupt. If you are dumb, or let's say dumber than a box of blonde hair, this is a book. And if you've never seen one before, you're fired. You might want to raise your IQ score just a little bit. Over weight loss. Now, congratulations on losing a lot of weight. Okay, great. You were able to you know, get yourself back on track, but if you lost a lot of weight and you did it quickly or unhealthy like, or it was just a lot of weight and you're a little older, congratulations. You just uh, bought yourself a flying squirrel suit. And I'm not talking about the cool one from Super Mario Brothers. Take up nude skydiving, because you could probably glide for a long distance. If you're jumping rope and a child falls out, squirrel suit. If you're talking with her and she attacks you on every one of your talking points, overcritical. You don't need that huge boatload of drama down the road. Cut away, toe jumper, foam the runway. 19, now I'm gonna do a whole show about this, but uh, I'm gonna bring it up here just in passing, drama queen. Drama queens are also known as fight pickers. They will write a check with their mouth that you probably can't cash. Honey, could you empty the dishwasher? I wish you were dead. 20, overworker. Clocking 60, 80 hours a week. What are you doing there? You know, you get four hours here, two hours there. Listen, we all have to work. That's why it's called a job. But it's nice to play a little bit too. Let it roll. Find someone else. 21, sex rationer. Only wanna have sex once a week, once a month. Or non-sexer, don't need that aggravation. Or a sex slaver. You mow the grass, wash my car, buy me a fur coat. She doesn't care about sex. She basically sells it to you for actions and stuff. She's a whore. A whore. <laughs> Dude, just life's too short for that crap. Skankzilla, oh my God. Now I talked about this in one of my videos. The next one is second scrotum issues. If they lost a lot of weight, they might actually even have a third scrotum. I, I don't know. If there's more than one scrotum in a relationship, that's one scrotum too many. 23, now this one here, this one is really close to my heart here because I'm a tit man, okay? I like the bumpers, the dials and pegs, whatever you want to call them. I like 10 mile hour bumpers, much better than five mile hour bumpers or three mile an hour bumpers. But you know, you talk up a chick and you think she's got like, you know, a C cup, she's a, you know, 10 mile hour bumper and you find out it's a water bra and she's got an A cup, huge bummer. Man, I don't need no tactical vagueness, which is anything less than an A cup. This is not gonna work for me. Ladies, the male equivalent would be if you unzip my pants and you find a squirrel in there. I'm sorry, I thought it would match your suit. 24, hang on, let me take a drink for this one. Now listen, at our age, you know, 30, 40, 50, whatever it is, the majority of people are gonna have children. That's cool, I'm cool with that, you know? But if you're a bad parent, that goes right back to the do for me sexer, because it, it's all technically just bribing anyway. I'll give the kid a lollipop if he quits drawing on the walls or I'll take you to the movies if you quit taking a bat to the TV. Your kid's smoking dope in the house, or he's doing a lawn job, or he's like seven feet tall and he's dressed in chains and carrying a sword. Man, come on. What is up with that shit? 
edit out shit. I don't want to say that on there. <laughs> and finally, we get to 25. Let's say uh, you're insane, you waiting, that they're crazy. Blatant insanity. We already went over this. One point, W-O-L, walk off the lot. Check the medicine cabinet when you come in. Look for Prozac, lithium, what have you. But if they're insane, do yourself a favor in the long run and just cut it away right away. Well, thank you for uh, tuning in for another episode of uh, RedDarkList.com. We're trying to put one out every Friday. If you have any ideas for any new stuff, go ahead, leave it in the comment section or send it an email because we're always looking for new stuff and new people to offend. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button because if you do, I'll take you flying in my ex-wife's squirrel suit. If you jump rope and a child falls out, it's a flying squirrel suit, man. God. Damn it, that's bad. Oh, we're so getting a walkthrough for that one, man. Holy smokes. Holy shit! Oh my god, that's terrible. Alright. If you're jumping... <laughs> god, that's like the worst one yet. That's terrible. Alright, hang on, hang on. Let me go to my, let me go to my happy place. Uh, Alright.